Hi, I'm Paul Perdue, and I am the infrastructure nerd. And I'm Mary Jo Boyd, a legal technologist. You know, in the past, we've always had to make payments from trust to tabs uh, by all kinds of different means. We could do it manually, or we could post a payment to firm and then go over and look at that payment, make sure it went to the right place. Um, but we'd always have to know what was due already. We'd have to do statements first, at least draft statements to know that. It had to be dated correctly. There was all kinds of different hoops we had to jump through to make that happen. So you could you could write the check to the firm and it would automatically make the payment, but you still had to do that for each individual trust that had, had a balance. Correct. Wouldn't it be neat if it did that automatically? Well, you know what? In version 18, it does. We uh-huh. have automatic trust payments now. Will you show us how to do that? I'd be glad to. Okay, so we're going to talk about trust payments and how to automatically post those from trust. Now, like we said in uh, our pre-liminary um, introduction, it is something that you can do now manually by going in and saying that a payment is going to be made to the firm. And that payment automatically goes to that matter in tabs when we type the word firm in. But the problem is we have to know how much is due and all those things. Now, for a long time in our client funds program that is within tabs, you can automatically post uh, to WIP and you can say that it's going to be a certain amount and, you know, I want to do it to, you know, the balance. I want to do it to the WIP balance. I want to do it to just fees, costs. You had a lot of control over that in client funds. And now that functionality is carried over into trust. So if I go into the trust account module and I look at, um, there, there's several places that we can turn this on. So we can do it over in our customization. And whoops, I already have that open. So back here, customization, we have to actually allow trust payments. So we have to say that allow tabs to automatically create trust transactions. So it's going to let you know that you've selected that. Um, and we have it. And we can also say whether or not we want to create auto transactions for the amount of in either both the current work, work in the AR or current work only or AR only. So these are some different settings here at the global level. This is going to be allowing automatic trust payments for all trust accounts here. Now, we then have to turn it on to say which trust accounts we're going to let have those functions. So I'm going to say yes, that will keep that. And then we're going to go into the trust account transactions. And in any of the trust accounts that we have, we'll look at Michael Larson. On the balance tab, there's another place here that you can say that you want to automatically use the trust account balance to pay different things. And so you can set this up over here to then use this particular um, setting that you have per trust account. So that is over here underneath the individual trust account uh, to set that automatic payment up. Once this is set up, then when you come in to do your trust transactions and you pay the firm or um, you go ahead and just let that automatically pay, when a statement is created, that's going to pull that over and then you're going to see those payments over there and you're going to be able to print off the list of all the payments that were paid so you'll know then how much you need to create a payment for. So we need to go ahead and make sure that we check off how we want this to be. And you can see on my screen here that the automatically used trust account balance to pay is grayed out. And the reason that is, is we have to also set it up in one more place and that's the bank account. So I wanted to leave this like this so you could see it. And now I'm gonna come over and show you that if we go to our setup tab, go to the bank accounts, choose our bank account that we wanna turn this on for, and then click on integration settings, We have to, first of all, make sure that we have a regular payment code set up over here with a tabs three transaction code in this box. Now, if you're using fee expense and advanced payment codes, you would also need to go ahead and you want to, you know, actually split those up. You could go ahead and define those as well. This kind of went away. I don't see too many people using these, um, breaking it out. Most people are using a regular payment code. So you'll want that. But very importantly, we want to also allow the automatic payments from trust accounts when generating a final statement in tabs. So once that final bill is is created, it will then go ahead and automatically pay from the trust balance to tabs. And you can decide whether you want that to show up as an EFT or whether you want it to show up as a check, uh, depending on what your regulations and your laws are in your state. So I'm going to just leave it as EFTs right now and say OK. And I'm going to save this. So my settings are saved for bank account one. And you'll have to do this for any bank account that you're using. So just make sure you keep that in mind. And now if I go back to my trust accounts, go into Michael Larson and go to the balances tab. Now I have got um, this open so that I can check off automatically use the trust account balance to pay all. 
And then I can say to create auto transactions for the amount for what do I want to do it for. So to recap, I've set it up under my customization to allow all the payments and to do it however I want on a global scale, whether it's just to current work and AR or current work only or AR only. Then I've made sure under my setup, under my bank account, that I have went to integration settings and made sure I had first a transaction code defined from tabs three for a regular payment code. And then I also want to turn on and allow it there. And then I can come into my individual accounts and I can say whether I want to allow all and and how I want that to apply. Once that's done and I save this, so right now Michael Larson has a current balance of $900. And if we flip over, I'm going to save my settings, flip over to tabs, and we go into client manager for Michael Larson. I can see that he's going to have a higher balance than that $900. So when I final bill this and update it, I want that to just pull that information over. So I'm gonna right click and I'm going to create a final bill for Michael Larson. I'm just gonna leave it for everything. Make sure we have a final. I'm in test data, so that's why I've got an old date, but we're gonna just go ahead and say, okay, pick a printer and we will just create a statement. And I actually should preview that, I guess. And so once we preview that, I'm actually printing it, whoops, uh, I have what his balance is and that it had a payment that went, it was applied. And if I scroll down here, now this is still just my final. I haven't done this. I haven't updated this statement, but here's my $400 payment for my current work. And it automatically came in and here's my fees that it's brought in to pay. So I have that $400 automatic payment that was made today. Uh, that is going to apply. And maybe his balance was less, I'm not sure. Maybe I just had it to just say that for costs, I'm not sure what I had on there with my settings after flipping in and out of here. But I do have this particular balance that is applying. So that's what we have. I think I said current work only. So that's what that is applying to. So it's automatic. Once my statements are completed and I update those statements, I'm gonna go ahead and update this one for Michael Larson. Michael Larson, Michael Jensen, I get them confused. I'm not sure who I'm in anymore, but let's get out here, Michael Larson. And once I have that, so I've just actually billed out, this is probably some kind of a contingent case, so I'm not even billing these other fees yet. So it was just what was due was the cost of $400 and that's what it applied to. So now that's taken that off and when I get a, um, when I do my statement report, I also will get a list of all of those Uh, trust payments that were made so that then I know how much money I have to transfer automatically from the bank or if I'm writing a check out, what's my total that I have to write the check for. So that's all incorporated now all through trust so that you can set it up how you want, whether it's on a global level, individual level, however you want that to be and how you want it to apply per matter uh, on trust to tabs. So all automated, all much easier to use. You don't have to think about it. I didn't have to go do the statement first. It automatically knew how much to apply. So much, much easier. So there you go. Automatic trust payments made much easier in version 18. That's just one more way that we help you to worry less. And practice more.